One of the biggest areas of confusion for people when it comes to tax defaulted property is whether to invest in tax liens or tax deeds. Many people think they are the same, but there is a big difference between them. One has a lower entry level and will give you a fixed rate of interest on your investment. The other, while it costs you considerably more to win the bid, can give you a much higher return on your investment and much more earning potential. One can turn into the other, but not the other way around. So what's the difference between a tax lien and a tax deed? And what are the basics so you know which one to invest in? As you know, both tax liens and tax deeds arise when a property owner has defaulted on their taxes. In the United States, failure to pay property taxes has consequences for all property owners. The property taxes become delinquent and the local county will declare and issue a notice of default. The notice will indicate past due delinquent taxes. Certain states take action in six months. Some states wait as long as five years. After many notices of default are issued, one of two processes will take place that the state law will mandate. The majority of the states confiscate, that is, they seize and sell the property at auction. That auction is referred to as a tax defaulted auction. Other states will auction a certificate, which is a piece of paper. Here, the owner remains on the property and the property has a lien placed on it. And this is where the difference between a tax lien and a tax deed begins. A tax lien is a certificate that a local county auction that is sells a lien, an encumbrance that causes a burden to a tax defaulted property. As I mentioned, the property owner stays in their property. When you invest in a tax lien certificate, you do not own the property, yet you could end up owning the property, which I'll come to in a minute. Ultimately, the defaulting owner must pay their property back taxes. And when they do, you get paid an outrageously high interest rate on your investment. For example, up to 16% in Arizona, or up to 18% in Florida, or even 24% in Iowa, and I've only named three of the states. Try to get that much interest from your bank. Different states will have different lengths of time when the redemption period ends and the delinquent property must pay you interest and costs on the delinquent tax lien certificate. This period could be one month or 12 months. This is an annualized rate of return for any tax lien certificate. Your return on investment is mandated by the local government. A state like Florida will have over 1 million tax lien certificates each year. Investors are buying an income stream and a piece of paper, not a property. So how can you get to own the property if you purchase a tax lien? If after two or three years, the property owner fails to pay their property tax, they forfeit the property to the certificate holder, who will be awarded the property. This takes place after a formal foreclosure process in most instances. Every county is a separate taxing district and allowed by law to have their own rules. Let's discuss what exactly is a tax deed. Tax deeds are a lucrative business for those who understand the process of researching, locating, purchasing, and ultimately reselling properties, typically in less than ideal condition. Usually, tax deeds take place because the property owner allows the taxes to be unpaid and become delinquent. The county will produce a notice of default, then lien and shortly thereafter levy, that is confiscate, the property. After giving multiple due process of law notices of default to the property owner, the county will then auction the property at a tax defaulted property auction to the highest bidder at a public auction, and the treasurer will use the funds to pay the delinquent back taxes. The property is sold as is. The county makes no promises as to the condition of the property, and there is no warranty that the title is free of defects. Many properties are sold 
for as low as the delinquent back taxes with no mortgage or deed of trust loan. These used and abused properties can be a gold mine for a bitter investor, especially when following a systematic, well thought out investing criteria that gets you the best returns on your investment. In my opinion, with tax deeds, the new owner should follow a system of buy low, sell low, and do it fast. In our training, we have many lessons to guide you throughout a step-by-step process of research, locating, bidding, and then ultimately reselling. In this business, you don't need a fancy license from the governor of the state. You do need a clear system to follow. And my educational system has been perfected, proven, tested with real money at tax defaulted auctions for over 30 years. Now that you have the basics of tax liens and tax deeds, let's walk through an example. In the United States, all 3,000 counties sell tax defaulted properties at auction. Next, I'm transitioning and explaining how the tax deed process works in California, a tax deed state. In this example, I'm going to use San Bernardino, California. This is the largest independent county in the world. Most people would be surprised to find thousands of tax defaulted property at the next San Bernardino auction, including small residential lots, homes, large acreages, commercial buildings, high values, low values. There is something for everyone. It's not unusual for properties to be auctioned in San Bernardino to have starting bids as low as $100. These are properties the county has tried to sell at previous auctions, and more than likely, there were no bidders. I have many students who have purchased these properties for as low as six cents on the dollar at auction. Tax defaulted real estate is used and abused, even abandoned real estate. We have a proven system that guides you through the maze of obstacles to identify which properties are fool's gold and which properties are the diamonds in the rough. Rule number one from Ted Thomas is boots on the ground. It's mandatory that the bidder walk the property, look at what you're bidding for before the auction. A small number of states have a process which is called redeemable tax deeds. In order to take advantage of that system, which sometimes pays up to 25% penalty, click on the video on your screen now or by clicking the link in the description below.